Okay, Don't forget to save your game, everyone. <laughs> We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I think so. I have something extra planned today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ah, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We'll we stupid. won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and Damn. I've designed some pamphlets oh, we can give good. out during the event. Uh, Sayori? Working? Okay, that's great and all, but it doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, uh, I thought you had heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P. <laughs> um, Monica. Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. This'll teach you for not monopoly. Ah, Jesus Christ, that's not English. Monopolizing Trognor's time, Yuri. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. It's a poem slam. Slam. Sayuri's putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't You didn't already start putting your posters up, did you? <laughs> well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad? of an idea. Well, no, I, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this yet, no. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. Agreement. You'll never hear me say that ever again. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Yuri shakes her head in fear. Pretend they're raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. If they wish to chicken out, let them. Remember that Weaklings. they have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. Processing failed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Persuasion <laughs> failed. <laughs> but I still think we should give it our best. Performance success. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Monica, shut yeah. up! Yeah! <laughs> I'm expressing your feelings! Being intimate with yourself! Meeting horizons! And having fun! Didn't you find that out, like, today? <laughs> That's right. 
And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. I know you do. I know we all do. We all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Yes. Atsuki and Yuri remain silent. Yuri looks afraid. Ah, That's her worried face. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. Wait. I don't think it's too much to ask. Wait, but I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members like me I by bribing like me. Paid to say this. <laughs> the least we can do is to help them out a little bit. Oh no! I realized without well, this, there'll be no rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, but <laughs> looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left other than grumbling. Vampire noises. Okay, fine. Vampire noises. Yes. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll just have to get over. Get it over with. All right. Ew. Thanks, Natsuki. Stares at Yuri. <laughs> Turns Gee. slowly. That's. Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. I, I I guess I don't really have a choice. Uh-oh. Ha! That's everyone! I'm good at manipulating people! <laughs> good the best, Jerry! This club is seriously gonna be the death of me. <laughs> it's, it's a joke, right? It's your joke. Uh, oh gosh. You'll be fine, probably. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. Wait. Oh. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. Yes, the, the, the new one I made, right? Because I mean, we're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N no way, Monica. This is too sudden. Say it slower. Well, if. No, we were, we were kidding. <laughs> recite your poem in front of the club. How do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Ah uh, ha ha, of course. Of course, slave. And that's like constant, like, fearful, angry face in the background. Now, let's see. Monica flips her a notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting oh, her poem. <laughs> her clear, confident voice fills the room. Confident, robotic voice fills yeah. the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. <laughs> she knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Like a robot. Is this something she's done before? Or is she simply unnatural? A robot. <laughs> I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Siori looks amazed. Wow. Yuri has an intense expression on her Whoa. face. I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. Did we not even talk about Natsuki? Natsuki's yeah. there. She's, like, she's in her coffin again, hiding. She's asleep for the day. The four of us applaud. Yeah. I'm, I'm not doing it into a wait. microphone. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's, there's four of you. I was just like, <laughs> wait, what? You uh, forgot about Natsuki too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica! Ah uh, ha ha, thank you very much. 
I was just hoping to set a good example. I was setting the bar really high. <laughs> Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Whoa! Drama! <laughs> Zooms in to the... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yuri joined the battle. <laughs> yeah, Yuri. <laughs> uh, ah, Yuri's firing up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands, stands up. Just the, uh, keeping her head like down. the Arthur, like, this picture of like, yeah, the Arthur. Yeah, the Arthur. Uh, keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us, uh, locking eyes with me. How, how, how did I get up here? <laughs> you can do it, Yuri! It, it's, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Neat! Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? <laughs> Yuri gets Wait, past why? The... why is she trying? <laughs> Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed in her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Don't mind the cut there. <laughs> <laughs> the poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Really dramatic. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. I thought Trognor sucked at poems. He's really good at this whole describing <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, in his mind, he's amazing. Yeah. He just has no idea how to convey it in words. <laughs> Yuri snaps back into reality, glances around her as if she's bewildered, even herself. Uh, I... where am I? It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. It's golf clap. Yeah, golf clap. Everyone joins in me afterwards. We give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Yeah, good job, nice, yeah, yeah. pat on the back. Yeah. You did okay. Yeah, it's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught off guard. We must have forgotten. Except me, I applauded, take that. We applaud, <laughs> Yuri holds a poem to her chest, rushes back into her seat, just runs there. Just <laughs> dives into just the seat. Just starts drinking tea, just cup after cup. Just no, it, it's this. all crack. Well, I mean, <laughs> straight crap. I mean, if you, you you know you like soak tea leaves in hot water, she just soaks cocaine in hot water. It's basically tea, right? Just watered cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, she's gone. The animation. <laughs> Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Oh shit. Oh, K.O. Did she actually pass out? Yeah. I just imagine like the, the like, uh, boxing bell just like, ding, ding, K.O. <laughs> um, okay. I guess I'm next then. Natsuki comes in to steal the, no, okay. Sarah hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh. <laughs> I forgot it. I'm sorry, I killed. Why I hate her so much. <laughs> Sayori. 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 <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought. Why did you guys do it so easily? Just read the poem. <laughs> Get on with it. Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself. Like in front of a mirror or in your own head it's your poem so it'll come out the best that way see i see hey then see where it begins her poem somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect soft match voice. the poem isn't aimlessly cheery like siori is it what it's serene and bittersweet Sorry. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it, but <laughs> hearing it come from Sarah's voice, it almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sarah meant when she said she likes my poems. Wait. It's like I could reach much deeply into someone that I know, and through and through, Sarah finishes and applied. I get it! 
Yeah, good job, Sir Ants. Yeah, duh! Oh, Even the Jesus Trognor liked Christ. it! Even Trognor liked it! There we go. Uh... I guess that's a good sign. Is it? Because, uh, he sucks. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, <laughs> depending on what you're reading. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean! I can be forceful! <laughs> God! Oh, that's... I've been practicing that kind of this thing. This is my most hated voice you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> it's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> Then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. <gasps> Why? <laughs> we don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? <laughs> Not Suki. Don't make me go before Trungor. But first, it's not like I'm not gonna compare you guys anyway. You might as well like try to lower everyone's stands a little before I have to do it. Ooh. Damn. Oh, Suki, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fine. She's right. It's, I, mean, I mean, might as well get over it, I guess. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. Looks to two papers in front of him. Amazing papers. Uh, I guess I'll go with one I wrote for today. I mean, people said this one was better. So. Stand up, step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes. Oh, Ooh, all okay. Four. Oh yeah, here's what I was saying. It annoys me that her jacket is the only one that's opened. Yeah, because it's her personality. Yeah, just she like gets up like last second to like rush to school and like I throws understand. on whatever she needs to. I understand personality, but it's still annoying when everything else is it's like that's why, like her bow isn't like as tied and like her buttons are like open. I mean, Yuri's button is open, but it works. I mean, that's for reasons. <laughs> like, the other two are, like, prim and proper. Everyone has Like, she eyes. can't button the top ones. Eyes on me. <laughs> Maybe we got feel what you awkward. <laughs> I recite my poem. It's not exactly a comp in my own writing. I mean, it's kind of hard to put energy into it, so I'm just kind of like, I mean, here's the words, you know. Oh, but so it's that once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Oh, I like it. That was cool. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Uh, I don't talk to people much. Don't worry about it so much. Okay. This would be I easier if there were guys around. less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. I thought you were just going to leave it at the confidence. I, I was tempted. Lack <laughs> of confidence. Yeah, it, no, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's something that'll improve over time. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly, slowly, drags herself out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. <sighs> this poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Oh yeah, I forgot. We're supposed to close your eyes, everyone. Bitch, what? <laughs> because you're presenting... Huh. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. By Van Halen. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, Might as well jump. Natsuki takes a deep breath. <sighs> Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm. I'm to it. 
Natsuki's trademark style and works surprisingly well when she's spoken aloud. Words feel like they bounce up and down, as if <laughs> giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. Yeah, good job, Natsuki. He hops back really. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You do. You better not make me do that again. It is easy. I don't have emotions. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I want to see Trogner's face. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But it's just my friends. I... It's embarrassing. Mm. That's a surprise, Natsuki. What? I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, it's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Is... I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. Even It doesn't have to be your own. Hey, Yuri, you wanna let me, you wanna let me borrow it? I am already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this <laughs> effort for the club. I didn't think you would. That's the problem. All right, cool. Neat. It makes me really happy. Okay. Uh, yeah, no problem. Finish okay, everyone. everyone to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about it for today. I think I like this music better. I know the festival is coming up. But let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. Like how you you chose like the character who just has the most to say. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. I think I'm okay with having only one character. <laughs> you still have like half one. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Just breathe. Alright, just all right. breathe. Yeah, okay, alright. It's okay, hello? <laughs> Uh, I stand up. That's who he's gone already. <laughs> There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sierra and Monica, but yeah, I guess I'll do my best to get through this. Yeah. If it's for the sake of the club, impressing Mo- I don't know why that's- Why is- What? Sure, okay. <laughs> then I'll have to do my best, I guess. Ready to go, Sierra? Yep! Look at you two. Always going home together like that. Huh. They're holding hands. Oh, yeah. It's kind um, of not really she's adorable, like trying to go isn't <laughs> <Yeah>. it? Jeez, <laughs> uh, <laughs> guys. Make such a big deal out of it. It's just Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. It must be a little nice, though. I want to go home with him. Uh, what? What? Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? <laughs> if it's okay, Trogdor, I can't have you. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, let's go already. <laughs> Walk home with Sayori once more. You no, know, it's only been a few days. I mean, a lot of things have already changed. But, you know, today Sayori's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori, you're up to something. 
spots. Sorry, I was facing you. Mm, no, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. Okay. Like how we get to. I mean. Very fumbles with her words. Let's just say that one day, Harry asks, we'll walk home with you. Yeah? Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? It's, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well. Is this ooh. what we have to do? The saving thing? Do the saving thing. Ooh. What would you do? Ew. Wow, look at that. Let's go to the empty side. So okay, case. real quick. Hey. What do you want to do? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't even think about <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going with Yuri, huh? That sounds pretty cool. Make my heart pound! I mean... Does your heart go doki-doki? <laughs> anyway. Given how hard it is for her to socialize, I'd feel awkward turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? What? I literally didn't just say that. <laughs> you admitted it! I just said... <laughs> Jeez, it's alright. I mean, there's not even point in speculating something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. Okay. Wait, what? Not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? What? Uh, <laughs> hey, now, Harry. Terry, you, you okay? Need you. Need you? I didn't uh, need you. Sayori. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Do you have any of those bottles left? Are you okay? Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? <laughs> Sorry. Everyone's different. You're different. How many of the club is a replacement for you? That's, oh. Damn, um, that's actually a good line. If you say so. I literally just did. Conversation trails off, I'm left feeling awkward. Aw oh, man, awkward. Uh, <laughs> but it was her fault, so. Yeah, but it's kind of her fault for chiming. I mean, that's such a weird question. I just can't lie to her. I mean, something that stupid, you feel bad. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I just said there's no point in speculating. And again, the Vesper's only a few days away, and who knows what happened that time. <laughs>